Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Saturday, December 13th, 2014, around 8.34 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's a nice night, seasonally cold temperatures, but tolerable, about around freezing and so, so we could live with that. It's not too bitterly cold. It's, a, it's where it should be this time of year. Some news to report, Army lost to Navy by the score of 17-10 in the, in the annual Army-Navy game. The game was on CBS. Vern Lundquist was calling the game along with Gary Danielson and Allie LaForce. And this is the last regular season game of the 2014 Major Division I college football season. The bowl game start next week. And also, today for lunch, I went to a nice restaurant in the Burlington Mall, a Mexican restaurant called The Best De Beto, which is a good Mexican restaurant. If you're in the Burlington Mall area, I recommend you go to this restaurant. It has great Mexican food. And I sat at the bar, and they have complimentary salsa and chips, and also complimentary rice and beans if you get, get a taco. So... That's a good deal. And that's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the classic television series, Banachek. Banachek was part of the NBC mystery movie series, along with Columbo, McMillan and Wife, and McLeod. And Banachek lasted two seasons as part of the mystery movie from October 8th, 1972 through September 3rd, 1974. The pilot episode was March 20th, 1972 for NBC, and the pilot episode was a big ratings draw, so NBC decided to put that as part of its mystery movie. It, um, Banachek starred as starring George Pakapad as Thomas Banachek, who was a Polish-American insurance investigator. He freelanced, and he's from Boston. And also starring Ralph Manis as Jay Dunhay, and also Murray Masterson as Felix Mulholland, who was actually a bookstore owner, and Christine Bell Ford as Carrie Kirkland, who was also an insurance investigator as well, and George Murdoch as Canada, and Banachek is actually a Polish American f freelancer who investigator. He's, he's based in Boston, and he actually is called to solve mysteries that are impossible to solve. But he solves it with his suave style and his wit and wisdom, and he works like for ins insurance companies and he's he gets 10 percent of the insured value of the of the of the like the recovery properly that is stolen and stuff like that and Banachek always says a lot of um polish proverbs in the series he says this if you're not sure that the potato basket this this could be orphanaged. And another one, you could read all the books in the library, son, but the cheese will stink after four days. Some of these proverbs, Polish proverbs, were very funny and humorous. That's what was part of the charm of Banachek. And Banachek was a, was a smooth ladies' man. He would always have a beautiful blonde with nice legs and a great smile with him on many of the cases he was doing and stuff. And Banachek was very wealthy for solving all these crimes and stuff. And he lived in a mansion at 85 Mount Vernon Street. He drives an antique 1941 convertible. Banachek had mobile radio telephones, which back in the 70s, they were very rare and very, very expensive to have, but usually some of the cop series in the 70s, they had mobile phones in their cars, so that, so Banachek was followed the trend of that, and 
Vanacek was actually not was actually based in Boston, but it was shot in the Universal Studios backlot in Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, and some scenes of Banachek were filmed in the Los Angeles area for to that could pass for Boston. And like the op opening scene of Banachek um, was actually filmed in Boston, and some of the film filming of it was done in the early 70s when they were building uh, John Hancock Tower and stuff and a couple of other skyline in Boston and was pretty amazing. The opening scene of like George, I mean Banachek throwing his rowboat in the Charles River, but he was not really rowing it in the Charles River. It was actually filmed at the Universal Studios back lot and stuff. And Banachek was um, critically acclaimed and stuff and it was known as a great series and stuff. It wasn't a big ratings winner for NBC, but you know, it was decent enough to last two seasons as part of the mystery movie. It's probably the fourth longest running series of that mystery movie besides Columbo and McMillan and Wife in the Cloud. Actually, NBC renewed um, Banachek for a third season, but but it did not have a third season because um, George Picard was actually getting a divorce from his wife, Elizabeth Ashley. And Elizabeth Ashley is part of the settlements. She would get a large percentage of George Picard's paycheck from Banachek and as, as as soon as they were going to do the third season of Banachek, he quit. And Banachek was soon canceled by NBC, which was pretty a shame because Banachek could have had a long run as part of the mystery movie, in my opinion, because that was a great series. Banachek, it was actually, it was a crime drama, but a lot of humor, especially those Polish proverbs, was outstanding and stuff. And solving impossible crimes was a big plus and stuff like that. He once, a Banachek appeared in syndication on Fox 25 for many years as part of the show, the mystery movie on the weekends, maybe Columbo one Saturday and the next Saturday, McMillan and Life, the next one, McClellan, the final one would be Banachek and that was on many years and then WABU TV 68 in the early 90s had met Banachek and it also was on the cable network A&E, I think TV Land and also RTV and Cozy TV, but it's beginning in January, it's going to be part of Me TV at, in the late night for the band check and you got to see the show, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, we ones of it on Me TV. It's a great show, it's probably one of the most underrated 70s detective slash mystery shows of its day, band check, and I give it two thumbs up. And that's about it on that, I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, or three more video blogs. No personality profile. No, no top ten list tomorrow because the personality profile is going to be back tomorrow. But I won't be doing a top ten list because that's taking a break tomorrow. It needs it needs a day of rest. The top uh, and the, the the three video blogs tomorrow will be 2015 predictions. I'll be doing it for Major League Baseball, and then the second video blog of the day. I'm going to be doing a Charlie Brown Christmas. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about a person I profile called Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, a WWE Hall of Famer. Don't forget Facebook friends and YouTube followers. The upcoming weeks. Next week will be the top 10 list of the greatest Pittsburgh Pirates players and pitchers of all time and in the top 10 specialty matches in professional wrestling and next week's personality profiles will be will be covering four famous professional athletes who made their name in Chicago sports Bobby Hall, Michael Jordan, Frank Thomas and Walter Payton. Good night everybody. See you tomorrow Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.